Okay, I just put out a video on adding power beyond onto a 50 series tractor and of course the question comes up, what about a 100 series tractor? And I was thinking it was a little more involved, but I finally found it in the service manual and it's not too bad at all. This is a 1600. So what you gotta do is uh, tractors with power steering find a spot for that light. All right, what you gotta do, power tractors with power steering. This is a priority valve on these early tractors. The hydraulic flow, uh, let's see, this does have the external relief valve on the 1600. Hydraulic oil will come up, go through the priority valve, come back over, go through a channel down here, go through the filter, then come back up and go to the remotes and the three point hitch. And you can see why they eventually uh, moved a filter up here because they were sending uh, unfiltered oil to the steering, which is eventually going to cause trouble. So to add power beyond, you have to, you're going to have to take off this priority valve because there's a plug right there. I'll go over to the 1900. It'll show it better. That's an A series. Put this light back up here. So you have a bolt here and a bolt down here on this priority valve and move it out of the way so you can get this pipe plug out here. And then right about here is some 3 8 threads between these two ports, but it's on the inside. You gotta stick it way back in there. So you're gonna have to have a long driver and an Allen socket type uh, 3 8 pipe plug like I had in the other video. Something where you can reach all the way back there and thread it in just like on uh, the other video. And then you cap this back off, put your priority valve back on, take this plug out. This plug becomes your pressure port. This goes to your loader valve, whatever external valve you're doing. And then the oil would have normally gone along here. Of course, it's blocked here, so it has to get back to here somehow or another. So oil comes out, goes to your loader valve, comes back into this port here, and that resumes its path onto the filter and the remotes and everything. Honestly, if I was doing one of these setups, I almost think I'd add another filter in Just because uh, you're gonna be sending once again dirty oil back to the your loader valve and all your other stuff Because it doesn't these the 1800 1900 a and B series and the 1600 Didn't have the filter till back here So it's pretty much that easy pressure out pressure back in and then if you have a uh, dump a uh, excess valve, whatever you want to call it, the third hose. You got to pump the reservoir down because the oil level's up in here. But you can take this three quarter inch pipe plug out here and return your hose back into there for the bypass hose. And it's that simple. And if for some reason you want to take your loader off or something, you either need to take that pipe plug back out of the middle there or the easiest thing to do is just to loop your hose between these two and that continues the circuit. So let's go over the 1900 and show that. This is the 1900A. Ooh. She's a beaut, Clark. So this is a manual steering tractor. So no priority valve up here. Just got this plate to make the oil flow from one port to the other. And then here's your plug you got to remove. And then same thing again. Got to have a long extension to get that plug back into here on the inside through that hole. And then uh, put this plug back in. This is your pressure out. This is your pressure return. And whoa, um, I'm not so sure on a uh, low pressure return on these. Uh, I'm not. Seeing anything right there, you can go. There is, oh, my LED light is getting low. Right there. Once again, that's under the oil level. So you'd want to drain it down, and then you can uh, put your return back in that if you need to, if you have a uh, bypass return. Now, the C, the C series is it's uh, has a different animal. And at first, it's, from what I could find, they did not have provisions for Power Beyond. Um, a C-Series is pretty easy to 
identify. Um, you'll have tilt steering. The uh, throttle is on the side instead of under the steering column. Or the easiest way is to check your serial number tag. And if the spec number starts with 38, it's an 1800C. If it starts with uh, 39, it's a 1900C. So it's a more like the 50 series as far as the path of the oil. Turn my light back on again. Oil gets filtered first thing, other than the relief valve. So that's much better. But they didn't do anything in the cover to make provisions and they didn't have anything back in here. They didn't put the bolt or the uh, taps in for power beyond there. They do have a zero return port down there. And down here. So I was kind of uh, stumped on this one for a little bit there. It did some digging in the book. And um, let's go inside the shop, warm shop to my 1850, which is an early one and still uses this style of cover. This early cover has the small 3 8 plugs instead of half inch plugs and no provision for a plug to block it. So if you have an 1800C, 1900C, or an early 50 series like this 1850, you're gonna have the early cover, the 157-260A cover, which only has the small 3 8 pipe plugs and no provisions for power beyond. I've been pulling plugs on this, trying to figure out if there was something that somehow or another they left out of the book, which they don't generally do that. Couldn't find anything, so I did some more looking in the parts book and they updated this cover um, later ones take a different gasket, which tells me that somehow or another holes were moved around. But um, fortunately, my 1550 diesel has the later cover. We'll go look at that. It has the, uh, the half inch pipe plugs and it still uses the same gasket as this 157 six, or 260A cover. So it's looking like the solution for an 1800C and early 50 series is to unfortunately find another cover with the right part number on it. And I'll get you that in here a second and unbolt it and pull this cover off and replace it with the other cover. So you have the uh, bigger port and the uh, threads to block the flow off. So let's go look at that 1550 diesel. Okay, here we are at the 1550. As you can see, it's got the larger half-inch pipe plug right there and back here where it needs it. Um, I brought a wrench with me to try to get this plug out and it is really fighting it. And I am, well, I'm just not gonna risk uh, breaking a wrench or stripping that thing out over it. But this one has cask in the cover. 158502A. Like I say, that uses the same gasket as the earlier cover, like on my 1850 that I just showed you. So essentially you should be able to, if you can find one of these 158-502A covers, you can swap it out for your older one and you should have the right size plugs and hopefully the 3 8 pipe threads are back in here. I don't see why they wouldn't be. And like I said, I was going to pull that off just to verify, but it is not budging and I'm not going to break stuff over it. So that's your solution or the only solution I can think of. So if you buy one of these uh, 158-502A covers, I would uh, try to get that plug out first just to make sure the threads are back in here. And also, uh, well, hate to buy a cover and then have the plug stuck in there. But that appears to be the only solution that I could find for an 1800C to have power beyond. And uh, like that early 1850 I've got, uh, I don't know if any of the other, if the 1650 and the 1950 have the same, th excuse me, if the 1850 and the 1950 have the same thing, but I'm guessing they do. Uh, the other three models came out late enough, the 1550, 1750, uh, more than three, 2050, 2150, they'd updated this cover and it has the power 
uh, beyond provisions in it. So hopefully that helps everybody. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching as always. We'll see you in the next one.